is Ginger. I am here with what's in my purse slash bag, whatever you like to call it. Um, I just got my new purse. It arrived today. Dooney and Burke. There's Zip Zip and the Pebble Leather. Can you tell I bought it on QVC? <laughs> So I just got it in the mail today, so I figured it's been probably about a year since I've done one of these what's in my purse. So I figured since I was going to be transferring my stuff over to a new purse, I would show you what's in my purse. It would be a good opportunity to clean out my purse too. So this is the one that I have now. You've seen this before. I think this is the purse that I had the last time I did a what's in my bag. Uh, it's a... Betsy Johnson that I got on Hope Look. And I carry my bags for a good long time. Uh, and that's, I, I mean, I, lo I love the thought of buying bags in other colors, but I always tend to go back to black because it's practical, goes with everything. It, you know, you can wear it with something dressy or you can wear it with something casual. So let's start with the pocket that has my wallet in it. So actually, this is a new wallet that I bought. I swear I'm not sponsored by QVC, but I bought this off of QVC. This is an, uh, what are they called? It's called a, crap, what are they called? Uh, and I remember what they're called. They're called an ID. Well, basically, basically this is a wallet that is supposed to protect your cards from being scanned by one of those radio frequency scanners, you know, so a thief can't walk past you and scan your, um, your credit card or your, your ID. Apparently in some states they have the, the RF chips in some of the driver's licenses and stuff like that. So I bought one of these. It was not cheap. I will put the link, but you know what? I've had my debit card stolen twice, the debit card number stolen twice. So, and I've had to, and out of taking, the time that I've had to take out of my day to go and have it taken care of, and I never did lose any actual money from the people who stole the number. But the time that I lost having to take care of that um, probably is the equivalent of this. So I went ahead and bought one of these. Hopefully it will save me some problems. This is called ID Strong. That's what it's called. ID Strong brand um, wallet. So it apparently has that that. RFID protection all through this whole wallet not just in the pockets but this whole wallet so you open it up it actually has two flaps and believe me it's not the prettiest thing in the world I wish it was all black but it's about being practical unfortunately and not about beauty because I wish this part was black as well instead of white because it's just odd to me. Anyway, so you open the first flap. You got this flap here. You got a place for your money. Put my checkbook in there. You got a place for change. Then you open this part up and you've got a place for all your credit cards and your ID. So just your standard old wallet. So I will put a link to where I bought this wallet if you're at all interested. What else do I have in here? I have a, a lanyard thingy. Um, prescription junk. Another lanyard thingy. Not sure why I have two of those in there. And then lots of um, receipts that I should probably get rid of. And I have some um, some Purell that says Methodist Hospital. I got that at a safety fair at work. And then I have a, a flashlight. It's always good to have a flashlight. So I'll put those in here. The only thing is is that my old purse has two sides. See it's divided. 
It's got a middle section, a middle zipper section, and this new one just has one great big old section. So all of my stuff is just going to be like swimming in there. And then I have more Purell. You can never have too much Purell. Let me stick that in one of the side pockets. I have my case with my sunglasses in it. When I'm wearing my sunglasses, my regular glasses go in there. I just got these a few weeks ago. Prescription sunglasses. Ray-Bans. What do you think? Ray-Bans. Uh, uh. It's the new Wayfarers. They're smaller than the original ones. I tried on the original ones and they were just, they were slanted too much towards my face and it felt weird. So I got these. They're, they're a little bit smaller and fit a whole lot better. I wanted something that wasn't so predominant on my face. I wanted something that just went on my face. Alright, I have some lotion. Probably entirely too large to be in my purse. This is the brown brown sugar and fig from Bath and Body Works. We'll see. I may, I may not keep that in there. I need to buy some smaller ones. I have a small lotion sample that I got. It's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. That can go in there. A little thing that is full of makeup and a brush that is full of hair. My wet brush that I keep in my purse. And there's just hair all in it. It's nasty, I know. Okay. And then I just have a couple of lipsticks. A couple of my go-to lipsticks, some hair thingies, some lip balm, you know, that sort of stuff in there. Compact mirror, just that kind of stuff is in there. I have lip roller, some more hand cream. This is the uh, Meyer Lemon hand cream, hand and body cream. I have an extra key to my car which actually had never got reprogrammed, so it's utterly useless. Some Tylenol, because you never know when you might have a headache. A little to your planner for some reason. I don't need that. Uh, some, what is this? You don't need that, it's medicine. You don't need to see that. That's some old medicine. Okay, this is, this is, like smushed beyond recognition. I need to empty it out because I'm sure this is a coupon holder. I'm sure all the coupons are expired that are inside of it. I need to clean that out. What is this? Oh, this is an invitation to somebody's church. I have a little notepad that has a pin with it and the pin's upside down. It's a little, it's metal and it's spring action. It's got a little pin that comes with it. That's good to have. Another lotion. I have a lot of lotion in my purse for somebody who always has dry hands. You would think my hands wouldn't always be dry because I always have. <sighs> a doctor's appointment card. Oh, this is a key to my dad's truck. Uh, some earbuds, some Apple earbuds. Uh, I think I made a contribution at Anna's Linens, St. Jude. Of course, Anna's Linens is now closed. Mm, they went out of business. Let's see. I have a pen. Uh, this is a Sheraton pen. Oh, I have a sample of oh, water sleeping mask in here. Uh, I have a sample. What is this? This is a Biore Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strip. I should probably try that. A Band-Aid. Band-Aid. Oh, this is a uh, covered in hair. This has got a stylus on one end. And if I can get it to open up. This is like a little brush that you use to clean your uh, cell phone screen. That's all that's on the inside of the purse. Let's look and see. 
I don't have anything in these inside pockets, I don't think. I don't have anything on these inside pockets. Oh. Oh, a maxi pad. I don't think you want to see that. I have my cell phone, my Apple 6 Plus cell phone. I need that. And I have my iPod Touch. And that's it. Normally I have my camera, my little Canon point and shoot that I use to uh, vlog with in there, but I took it out a while back and I haven't put it back in. It probably needs to be charged. Anyway, so that was everything that was in my old Betsy Johnson bag. This one is a lot smaller, so it's going to force me to, because look at that. Look, look at all that crap. See, this goes all the way down and has gussets on the sides, but uh, look at that. It's full of crap. That's the only thing is that this doesn't have a, a pocket in the front for my cell phone. I like to be able to just stick my hand in a pocket in the front. Oh, well. So that's everything that was in my purse. So don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.